it's a new day in the office and I'm still, you know, going over the book here uh, that you can actually buy at Amazon. Uh, uh, Michael, um, let's see now, it's, well, it's, it's like a great, exciting book with a lot of beautiful pictures and reading. Three language, it's uh, three language, it's uh, Japanese, Chinese and no, it's English, German and French. Dog level a little bit. Uh, today I'm gonna do a thing. I bought it in '89, last millennium, <laughs> uh, in in New York. Uh, it's called Gypsy Cards, and they are printed. It's a replica. They are printed 1974, and they've been hanging around since then. And I have to change the angle because it comes with a story and a pretty surprising end. I hope so. I'll be back in a second. So, Gypsy Cards, and the effect is called the Gypsy Curse. What we're dealing here with is uh, one, two, three, and the card to keep track on, uh, four, five, six clubs. So, it was a gypsy woman walking on the street in New York, seeing a guy doing bets with people. People, men, women, dogs, cats, and say, keep a track on the king. And slowly, he put him between the clubs and said, King's here or there. Of course, everybody bet here. And of course, they lost their money. The gypsy woman was not happy to see this. So she put a curse on the cards. So the next time he was going to do this, and everybody was betting big. <laughs> you could say suddenly he lost all his money because it was not just one king, it was two. Well, it actually was four kings. No, it was five. It was six king. It was like, it was just king. So he was ruined. He was out of business. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that was everything for today. Hope it's you next week. Bye-bye.